Hi guys, so it is officially that time of the year again. Summer is upon us, summer is approaching, and I am ecstatic. I'm, I'm trying to expand my vocabulary. So we're saying ecstatic instead of excited. I think it means the same thing. So as per usual, during this time of year, I'm feeling a little crusty, feeling a little bit drained, feeling a little bit just ready for it to be summer. So in order to properly prepare and like launch into summer of 2023, we're gonna do a little glow up. As you guys know, I've done these videos so many times, but I just love doing them and they make me so happy. You know, we just, we gotta do the classic summer glow up video. So that is what this video is gonna be. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be getting my nails done and I actually only got these done like three weeks ago but they are so grown out I don't know what it is with my nails but like when I have them normal and like short and stubby they don't want to grow like they literally don't grow but the second I get acrylics on they decide that they want to be Pinocchio's nose. So yeah, I'm gonna be going and getting new nails. I am really excited though because like these are cute But they're not giving summer so we're gonna get some nails that are giving the summer vibes I still haven't like fully figured out what I want to do. I have a few different options Um, I don't know. I'm like still kind of deciding but I'm really excited. I'm gonna go with my sister We do have a nail appointment in 10 minutes and the place is 15 minutes away. So I do have to leave It is two hours after the appointment. We just finished. I tried a little bit of a different shape. I got like a square. And it feels a little bit weird because they're like kind of sharp on the ends and I'm like scared I'm gonna poke my eye out, my eye out. They feel a little bit chunky because I'm just like not used to it. But I think they overall turn out okay. Here's mine, I don't know if you can see. I just got gel, so yes. Anyway, so I don't know what like what the deal was or if there was like a bet going on, but the girl that was drawing my nails, she was trying this new method. And it took so long, but it was kind of funny because this other guy, like the guy that was drawing her nails, kept coming over. He was kind of like making fun of her method. And like, she was like, no, like just trust the process. And I was like, kind of agreeing with him, like secretly. I was like, yeah, this is not looking good. But they ended up being okay. I just like, don't know why it took two hours or what was going on. It's pink summer, baby. <laughs> Tuesday everyone. Hope you're getting pumped up. We're keeping the energy high, okay? You would never know we're recording this late at night. 20, <laughs> Working for us. Hello. Good morning guys. Today is a very exciting but also like low-key scary day because I'm gonna be going and getting a facial for the first time ever. I've never gotten a facial before so I'm a little like I said scared but I'm also excited because I feel like it's gonna feel really good but I'm also scared because it's gonna be like me and a random person I've never met and then they're gonna be doing stuff to my face and like what if I get an allergic reaction but like what if my skin also looks amazing like I don't know all the reviews were saying that this girl like makes them feel really comfortable and like makes their skin look great so I booked an appointment with her for 12 15 this afternoon I feel like getting a facial is giving me very much like LA influencer vibes I'm not mad about it it's just like very different for me but I'm very excited to see how it goes <laughs> Hi guys, so it has been a few hours since I got my facial done. I wanna talk a little bit about my experience because it was, like I said, my first time getting a facial. Didn't know what to expect, was kinda scared. Um, so first of all, when I got there, I was having a lot of trouble finding the building cause I'm like direction, I don't know, if just directionally. Then once I got into the actual appointment, the girl that was doing my facial, her name is Liana. She was such a sweet person. Like she just was very comforting from the start and like made me feel really comfortable. And I definitely wanna go back to like do another facial with her because she was just so sweet. She had this like tripod thing that you could like set up and like put your phone above you on the table and like film you actually getting the facial. So I did get a bunch of footage on my iPhone of like me getting the facial. However, most of that will not be going on the internet because it is very humbling. 
to like have that much bright light directly in your skin and then the angle and like everything about it it's just not very flattering so most of it will not be um seeing the light of day so the first thing that she did is she did like extractions where she like went and like extracted gunky stuff and like black heads and white heads from my nose and my forehead and all over my face and that was so painful like obviously it's not gonna be comfortable to have like extractions like that's as common knowledge like you're literally pulling stuff out of your face after the extractions were done she went in with like a bunch of different like face masks and treatments she did this like bl blue light treatment i think and then she did this like oxygen dome where she put this dome over my face and it like filled up with oxygen and apparently it's like really helpful for your skin i don't know what she was doing but she like definitely knew what she was doing i will say my favorite part was when she did the like seaweed mask where basically she put it over my eyes and my mouth and everything and i was a little scared because i was like am i gonna be able to breathe what if i have to blink i don't know how to explain it but i just went into this like trance and i was just like in heaven like it felt so good this sounds so weird but like i felt like i was floating in space with no worries like i was seeing all of the like stars in the, the galaxies and i was just like in my own little world and it was amazing oh and i forgot to mention she did like a chemical peel on my face so yeah i do have to avoid going in the sun which ruins my plan of like going out on tanning um for this video which i probably shouldn't like be doing anyway for my skin so i feel like that's kind of just like saving me in the long run but that was something i was gonna do in this video but it's okay because chemical peel equals eventually getting better skin and yeah anyway also she did say that she would recommend like booking a few more appointments and like treatments with the next with in the next few weeks so i'm gonna do that because i really just want to like get the full results of this facial and yeah just start doing facials more like i didn't really ever think i would be that person but i guess maybe i potentially am becoming that person that gets facials which i'm not mad about it because it was really relaxing so this is what my skin is looking like as you can see it's like pretty red my skin is literally i don't know how to explain it to you it feels so incredibly soft like all the blackheads on my nose specifically are gone hi guys it's been a hot second since i talked to you last i think it's maybe been like a week i don't really know i'm not really like keeping was it saturday in like five days anyway so i just got out of school and i'm about to go into a hair appointment i need to go inside right now running a little bit late as usual. I was really debating whether or not I should do something crazy. Like, should I go for the big chop? Should I dye my hair red? I was really considering red. Like, I kind of want to do that sometime. I was considering getting highlights, but at the end of the day, I just don't know if I can do it because I really like my hair right now. I know it's nothing crazy. It's basic, but I like the length of it and I feel decently confident in my hair and I just don't want to accidentally ruin it. Maybe next time I'll do something fun, but I think this time I'm just going to keep it simple, do a simple cut, get the dead ends off, do a little wash, do a little blow dry. Also today at school, the girls in my class, we were putting flowers in her hair, so that's why I have the, the flower. I know it looks a little crazy, but I just am being very sentimental because today was the last full day of school. It's junior year, it was a very good day. It's super hot outside, it's like 90 degrees. So I'm very like sweaty and kind of gross right now. Here's the before of my hair. I'll try to get like a better before. So it's actually been a few hours since I got my hair cut and I meant to talk to you guys right after I like finished my appointment and show you guys my hair but I got a little bit carried away, got distracted, went to Walmart looking for the Chamberlain cold brews. They were not there. Literally went to two locations looking for them. They were not there which was a little disappointing. As you can tell there's no drastic change. There's nothing crazy going on but I definitely think it looks a lot better feeling a lot more fresh and I love the way that the hairstylist styled my hair. I just feel like she did a very good job. I feel like after I go to the hair salon, that is the time when my hair is just thriving, peaking, popping off. Like it is just looking really good. And then it doesn't really look like that for a while until the next time that I go to the hair salon. But I was like, you know what? This summer I want to have good hair. I want my hair to look like this a lot more often. So I asked the lady that was doing my hair for some tips and she was literally so sweet. She said that she had the same type of hair me where it's kind of like curly and frizzy and wavy and just all over the place so what she did for my hair was she blow dried it and then she took a one inch curling wand and just kind of went in and did some light little curls and i will be going and buying a one inch curling wand after this she really really inspired me 
to do so she was saying that she uses it on her hair all the time and I don't know I guess I've never really been like a huge curling iron person mainly just because I'm scared of them and I don't know how to use them but I am very inspired because my hair looks and feels really really good so I am gonna go purchase one of those also guys I decided not to really do the full-on bang thing that I had going on last summer because as much as it was a moment it just was so much to keep up with and I feel like when my hair was in its natural state it just didn't really look very good because it's curly kind of and so it was bunching up weirdly so I feel like there's more I want to say but I can't think of anything but yeah this is the hair very fresh Hi guys, so I just received a very important package in the mail. I purchased a curling iron and it finally came. It's a few weeks later, as you can tell. I have different nails and everything, but I really, really wanted to test it out on camera for you guys because as I mentioned many times, I've never curled my own hair. Like, I don't know how to do hair stuff. And I really want that to change because I want to be that girl that just knows how to do hair and that can do people's hair and curl hair and do all of that cool stuff. So I got a curling iron from Amazon. It was only $25, but it had a lot of good reviews. And there's this one girl that I really love on TikTok. Her name is Haley. I think it's pronounced Haley or maybe it's Hallie. I'm not entirely sure, but she just has the most perfect hair and it's always curled so nicely. And allegedly this is the curling iron that she uses. So I'm going to be using one of her TikTok tutorials on how she does her hair. I just blow dried my hair so it is dry and semi straight, but it's definitely frizzy. Definitely needs a little bit of dimension. So that is what we're going to do. Enough sewing. I'm going to go ahead and um, attempt to curl my hair. I don't know why I'm scared. Welcome to my bathroom. I feel like I've been doing a lot of videos in my bathroom recently, but it kind of just works out. This is the curling iron that I purchased. It is the the Lanvier, Lanvier 1.25 inch and I don't know why but I was getting so stressed over what size curling iron to buy. The girl at the hair salon recommended getting a one inch thick, what? Did I just see a camera flash? Hold on a sec. I could have sworn I just saw a camera flash from like outside my window. I think I'm just tripping, but that was, wait, what? I'm so confused. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so we have the curling iron. We have the heat protectant. This is the Redken 25 One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. And then I also have the TikTok tutorial pulled up. What? That was a lot less satisfying than I expected it to be. Okay, so first thing that she does in the video is she ties her hair up into like two sections, which is definitely necessary if you have thick hair like me because like there's there's just a lot going on. So I'm gonna do this little flippy. I always look so silly when I do this, but it's just kind of like a necessary step. I don't know how to tell when it's like preheated, but I don't want to touch it and burn myself. like. I think it's hot, I don't know. protecting kind of dry into my hair a little bit maybe like 10 15 minutes and then i'll be back we're gonna try this again <laughs> Okay, I'm back and I found a different tutorial on TikTok that just makes a little bit more sense with my brain. So I'm gonna try to follow this and we'll see how it's gonna go. Honestly, this is so far a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. I just kind of thought it'd be really easy. Like you get it and you wrap it around. But also what I didn't realize is that this one has a clamp and apparently there's a little bit of a different method that you're supposed to use if it has a clamp. So it's kind of confusing, but I think once I figure it out, hopefully it'll look really good. I think the clamp is just a little bit too advanced for me. So, I, like, is there a way I can take this off? Can I just get in my way? My hair is so hot. Oh my I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Mm, there's nothing. Okay, so I have one more thing that I want to do for this video in order to attempt to glow up for summer. So I'm going to be trying... 
Okay, okay. I'm gonna be trying oil pulling. If you haven't heard of oil pulling. Okay, so according to Google, oil pulling is an alternative medical practice in which an edible oil is swished around in the mouth for a period of time and then spat out similar to mouthwash. It originates from Ayurvedic medicine. Practitioners of oil pulling claim that it is capable of improving oral and whole body health. And yes, I know that this is from Wikipedia, but I did some more research outside of it. Definitely make sure that you do your research before you try oil pulling. Um, don't listen to me because like a lot of the times I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I did do my research for once and it seems to be something that is decently safe and natural. Basically, it's where you get coconut oil and you take like a teaspoon of it and you swish it around in your mouth for like 15 to 20 minutes, spit it out, brush your teeth, and you're supposed to do it every single day. And apparently it's supposed to help a lot with like teeth whitening, cleaning out your gums, teeth health, all of that stuff. Like everyone that has done oil pulling that I have seen on like TikTok and just from the brief research that I did on this, they say that it literally has saved their teeth and it makes their teeth so white and healthy. So this is something that I want to try to implement in my daily habits, my daily routine. We'll see if I actually stick to it. Also, I'm kind of terrified because just the thought of like swishing around oil in my mouth seems so disgusting and repulsive to me. And the fact that I have to do it for like 15 minutes is a little daunting, but I'm going to try it and we'll see if I can stick to it and make it a part of my daily routine. I've done things to whiten my teeth in the past. Like I've tried the Crest whitening strips and while they do work, it just kind of feels like they're hard on my teeth. So you're not supposed to do it really often. And oh, okay, I need to put this, I need to put this down. But yeah, I've tried things to whiten my teeth in the past and like they work, but I want to try the method that's a little more natural and something that I can do on the daily just to maintain my teeth health and make sure that my teeth are white. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some coconut oil in my mouth, swish it around for like 15 minutes and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so I have my coconut oil. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Is this too much or not? brush my teeth that was so insanely nasty i don't even know how to describe it to you other than it just felt like when you get a bunch of spit built up in your mouth and you like don't swallow it that's what it felt like it felt like there was so much spit in my mouth and i was just squishing it around it it didn't really like taste that bad it just tasted like spit that was honestly the slowest 15 minutes of my life i was just like on my phone and normally when i'm on my phone it goes by so fast but i was like can this just be over? It was so gross. One thing that I saw a lot of people on TikTok saying that they do to make it taste better is they put a little bit of like peppermint oil in it. Or I saw that you could also buy this coconut oil that already has the peppermint oil mixed in and it's already like melted. So I think I'm honestly just gonna buy that so that I don't have to have the chunks of coconut oil and I don't have to add my own peppermint oil. All that being said, I am very excited to see how my teeth improve, hopefully as I continue doing this. I'm gonna try really hard to Make this part of my routine. I'll try to keep you guys updated. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna end it here. There's a lot of, I don't, I don't even know what I did in this video because I filmed it over such a long period of time. But yeah, I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video.